Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to find private key in RSA algorithm. Explain with example. Topic of network security. Let's see the steps of RSA algorithm. Here, I am not discuss about RSA algorithm. If you want to learn RSA algorithm with example, then click on the above i button. In this video, I am going to discuss about fifth steps of RSA algorithm, how to calculate private key D in RSA algorithm. Whenever you want to calculate value D, you need two values. The first one is public key E and the second value is torsion function phi of n. Phi of n is calculated in the third step. In this video, I will explain three methods how to calculate private key component in RSA algorithm. Let's start with the first method. In this method, public key E and phi of n values are small. Let's take one example. The value E is equal to 11, phi of n is equal to 24. So calculate private key D. We all know that to obtain value D, we require two values E and phi of n. So here both the values are given in question. So let's find value D. So here equation of the value D is phi of n into i plus 1 divided by E. In this equation, the value phi of n is equal to 24 and the value E is equal to 11. So let's find the first iteration i is equal to 1. Put this value i is equal to 1 into the equation. So d is equal to 24 into 1 plus 1 divided by 11 is equal to 24 plus 1 divided by 11 is equal to 25 divided by 11. The answer is 2.27. So find the value d until get integer value. For the next iteration i is equal to 2. So here I got the integer value d is equal to 11. So it is our private key. But my suggestion is that before consider this value as private key verify this value. So question is that how can verify this value. This value is verified using this equation d e mod phi n is equal to 1. In this equation value d is equal to 11, value e is equal to 11 and the value phi of n is equal to 24. So put this value into the equation. It is 11 into 11 mod 24 is equal to 121 mod 24 is equal to 1. We get the answer 1. So our private key component D is equal to 11 is verified. This is all about method 1. Let's discuss method 2. Method 2 is used for large values of public key E and phi of n. Let's take one example. Value E is equal to 17. Phi of n is equal to 3120. Calculate private key D. In this method, I will calculate value D using extended Euclidean algorithm. So initial value E is equal to 17, phi of n is equal to 3120, it is torsion function, torsion value is always even. X and Y coordinate are 10 and 01. Vector X is correspondence with E and vector Y is correspondence with phi of n. Let's find the first iteration. Larger value become dividend and smaller value become divisor. So 3120 divided by 17, quotient is 183 and remainder is 9. So here dividend value is update, it is 9 and the divisor value is unchanged, it is 17. Here divisor value is unchanged, so vector x is also unchanged, it is 10. Let's find the new value of vector y. So it is previous value of vector y, 01 minus 183 quotient value multiply with vector 10. So answer is minus 183 comma 1. So new value of vector y is minus 183 comma 1. Let's find second iteration. 17 is dividend and 9 is divisor. Stop calculation, 
when get value 0 either in column E or in column phi of n. Here value 0 is in column E. So private key component is non-zero value. Here phi of n is equal to 1. So its corresponding vector value is minus 367. But private component cannot be negative. So D is equal to minus 367 mod phi of n. Here phi of n is equal to 3120. So minus 367 mod 3120 is equal to 2753. It is our private key. As per my suggestion, before consider this value as private key, verify this value using this equation de mod phi of n is equal to 1. In this equation, d is equal to 2753, e is equal to 17 and phi of n is equal to 3120. So is equal to 46801 mod 3120 is equal to 1. We get value 1, so private key is verified. So it is all about method 2. Let's discuss method 3. Method 3 is used for large values of public key E and phi of n. Let's take one example. Value E is equal to 17, phi of n equal to 3120. Calculate private key D. In this method, I will calculate value D using extended Euclidean algorithm. It is alternative representation of previous method. It is represent in different way. Here, initial iteration values are i is equal to minus 1 and 0. There is no quotient for initial values, but it will be updated in each iteration. R minus 1, phi of n is equal to 3120. R0 is equal to E equal to 70. Unit coordinate values are x minus 1, 0, x0, 1, and y minus 1, 1, and y0, 0. Let's find the first iteration. I is equal to 1. All the formulas are shown above the table. As per formula 1, 3120 divided by 17. The quotient is 183. As per the second formula, 3120 mod 17, so remainder is 9. As per third formula, x coordinate is 0 minus 183 into 1 is equal to minus 183. As per the last formula, y coordinate is 1 minus 183 into 0 is equal to 1. Let's find the next iteration, i is equal to 2. Here stop calculation because remainder value is 0. So now private component D is equal to xi minus 1 mod phi of n. As per last iteration value i is equal to 4. So xi minus 1 is equal to x3 is equal to minus 367. But private component cannot be negative. So minus 367 mod 3120 is equal to 2753. So it is our private key. Before consider this value as private key verify this value with this equation de mod phi of n is equal to 1. In this equation value d is 2753 e is equal to 17 and phi of n is equal to 3120. So is equal to 46801 mod 3120 is equal to 1. We get the value 1 so private key is verified. So this is all about method 3. Now there is one exercise for you guys e is equal to 19 phi of n is equal to 192 calculate private key d. You should find the value d using all these three methods and check your answer of all these three methods. It is same or different. Write your answer in comment section. If you have any query, you can join my telegram group Chirak Balodia. Link is given in description. Follow my blog chirakbalodia.com. All the video materials are available in my blog. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Follow me on social media. All the links are given in description. Thank you for watching this video.